Hi, today I'm gonna show you how to how to make an upgrade to a RAM upgrade. This computer has original 4 GB, so I'm gonna make some changes. For now, I'm just gonna change the RAM. Later, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm thinking to change to an SSD hard drive. Well, first we have to remove the battery just remove the battery out next we just have to remove these rubbers here here and here and here Remove all screws here. As you can see, one, two, three, four. A lot of screws here. One more. One more. One more. Well, get out. This is a hard one. Let him. This one. Okay. And we need to remove this here too. Different ones here and here. And another one here. Okay, this one here. The last one, I think. Let's see. Now we just have to make a little bit effort here. Oh, easy. Just make some strength, strength here, and it's coming out easily. It's very easy. Open laptop now we have laptop here we just have one slot of RAM now we just gonna pull out the old RAM 4 gigabyte here and now we're gonna we're going to put 8 gigabytes 8 gigas here One thing you should know here, if you want to do an upgrade to the SSD hard drive, to a new SSD, because this is normal hard drive, you, you should know that these ones are thin drives, are thinner than the normal. 2.5 drives. I, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna take it out. Take it out. One more. One here. Screw here. Okay. And I think it's done. Just pull it back. And we have here a hard drive. But this hard drive, it's a thinner hard drive. Uh, there is not reference here, but if I take the normal hard drive I have here, I can compare. I have a, here another hard drive. 
it's better than this one because it's faster but if we see this one is thinner if I try to put this one here it uh, doesn't fill the place doesn't fit here need to be thinner because the the enclosure of the of the laptop this thing here doesn't close well so be be aware of this situation and if you want to do an upgrade to the hard drive you you need to be to see if the the drive you will buy it's thinner than normal because the normal hard drive doesn't fit here today is just i will just change the memory so the hard drive still here well we just need to put it again to put the screws here another one you can do some cleaning here so just take a brush this one is clean I don't really see any dust so it is not necessary but if you have just take a brush a paintbrush and clean it or and past it easy if you want to you can take out the fan just take out the fan I think these are just two screws here yes are just two screws here pull it a little bit back and it's yeah, we don't see any dust here it's it's clean it's okay now let's close the machine we can put it the screws back this one the other one where are you here okay and now you just have to close it again this is easy to close to it just the, the screws this still here easy nice it's totally closed we do one first and then we're gonna put these ones in the place of battery one two three here this Lenovo M3070 it's pretty similar with the the, the Lenovo idea pad and close it this rubber again one more rubber if you have a, a Lenovo idea pad U300 or something like that it's pretty similar the difference is the other one has the built-in battery this one you have to remove it first the battery to open the the computer the other you just have to pull out this this cover and it's done the rest is the same it has just one RAM slot and um, and the hard drive is the same thing they have these computers have um, just the thin hard drive so you have to be care 
fool about it if you want to buy it and replace it because it has to be a new drive but has to be thinner to fit to fit in the place well almost ready almost ready this is easy each easy job you can make it quick you don't need to be an expert here because I'm not I'm just at the place and we have the change made this is Lenovo 3070 as you can see here but uh, the Lenovo's idea path are the same thing you just can change it easily like this one well I hope I'll be helpful for someone today bye